All right, y'all. What up? What up, world? What it do? What up, what up? What up, y'all? What it do with the businesses, ladies and gentlemen? This is your girl, Essence. Essence. Oh, this is your girl, Essence, and you are tuned in. You are tuned in to yet another episode of Essence TV for Urban Gossip App. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about is Jason Collins, who has become the first active player in the NBA to come out of the closet and be openly gay. I think that this is big. I haven't seen too much backlash other than, you know, Twitter thugs. And a, there was like an NBA player that came out and said some stuff like a couple of people have been a little outspoken about how it's wrong. But for the most part, there hasn't been a whole, whole, whole lot of backlash. He's done interviews with Oprah and various other outlets. Um, His family supports him. And, I mean, it seems to be all good. I mean, it's only been like a week or two since this big announcement has happened. And people already seem to be forgetting about it. And I'll tell you why I think that is. Let's think about this for a second. Let's think about somebody like Carrie Rhodes, who I mentioned in my last video, right? People are still giving this dude, like, a hard time. Like, people are still interviewing his... Uh, assistant slash boo thing there was just text messages released between the two of them like this is still a hot topic and yet Jason Collins comes out as the first player in the NBA who was openly gay and people already seem to be done with it why do you think that is because the media outed Kerry Rhodes before Kerry Rhodes could out Kerry Rhodes Carrie Rose Boo Thang, who is flaming out at Carrie Rose before Carrie Rose could out Carrie Rose. You know what I'm saying? Jason Collins came out of nowhere and he outed himself. He doesn't care about what other people think. He said what he had to say and he kept it moving. And now people are over it. I'll give you a perfect example. Frank Ocean and Anderson Cooper. Okay? I don't even know if any of y'all really remember this, but Frankie O and Anderson Cooper came out around the same time, within days of each other. If not the same day, but it was at least within a day or two of each other, okay? But Frank Ocean was the big deal. Why was Frank Ocean the big deal? Not because it was a surprise to everybody that he was gay. Not because he's such a hot commodity in the music industry. Because a blogger who was at his album listening party, put out the fact that he mentioned being in love with men in two of his songs. Put that out. And it wasn't even a big media outlet. It was a small blog. But that was all that the people needed to blow it out of proportion, blow it up into this huge thing, because Frank Ocean planned on outing himself in the thank yous of his album. Had it happened like that, then people would have people would have made a big deal about it. Except maybe for those homophobes that bought the album, and then they'd be like, "Oh my God, I bought his album!" And blah, blah, blah. you know what I'm saying? But fuck them. We're not worried about them. But my whole point is, had Frank Ocean had the opportunity to out himself, then none of this controversy would be happening. You know what I mean? With Anderson Cooper, Anderson Cooper came out before any media outlets could get to him and he sent an email or posted on his website or something. It, the point is he put it out first saying, hey, I'm gay. I've always been gay. I always will be gay. The end. People was like, huh. And they kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is how much power that the media has over you people. You cattle. It's like, we gotta have the scandal to care. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no real scandal in this Jason Collins situation. He came out like a grown-ass man and explained his entire situation, his struggle with his sexuality, and his desire to come out, why he chose to come out now, and how he doesn't care about what anybody else thinks. He addressed everything that he thought people was gonna address. The locker rooms. I'm gonna, like... There was no problem in the locker rooms before. There are no problems in the locker room now. I didn't do anything different. I never disrespected anybody. And the same is going to remain. That is why, like, people don't care anymore. Like, it's like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? People probably, like he said, 
in the article, people, a couple more eyes than usual are probably going to be on him in the court. But other than that, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But old Carrie Rose. Carrie Rose is deny, 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 deny. And the more he denies, the more we want the scandal. Where are the text messages, Hollywood? We want more text messages. We want more emails. We want more pictures. Where are they at? We want to jump on Twitter and attack him because he hasn't come out and said anything yet. The scandal! Somebody else outed him. He's scared to out himself. So let's come for this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's what kills me about y'all, man. Like, neither one of the stories was that big of a deal to me. I was like, oh, okay, good for Jason Collins. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of historic. Good for him. Kerry Rose. Okay, whatever. You know, this dude is flaming. He is a character. And I would watch him on TV. But who cares that Kerry Rose is gay in real life? I know, honestly, I didn't know who the fuck a Kerry Rose was before this even happened and if it wasn't for the scandal i would have forgotten the nigga's name by now if they had just said okay Kara rose came out and said that he's out of the closet he was dating his assistant blah blah blah, blah and you know he's just saying he's tired of hiding it whatever 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 a week would have passed i would not be able to tell y'all that nigga name okay these people need to address these things directly when they're ready when they're ready but not a moment sooner and I can understand there's a huge stigma like I'm a sociology major I've been doing a paper on this the last two semesters there's a huge stigma associated with black men and homosexuality like I, I am a little upset at Hollywood because Hollywood should understand how the game goes and he should have just called him and been like listen like I want to support you in this or something like instead of just going out and doing interviews because now it look like you just want some money and stuff but regardless you know, big up to Jason Collins, Kerry Rose, whether your situation is true or not true. I say all the time that what celebrities and A-listers and uh, high-profile people, what they do in their personal life is really none of our business. I say that all the time. It's really not. Nobody, Kerry Rose, Jason Collins, nobody owes us an explanation. To the people, to the cattle, I say that none of this is a big deal. None of it. Jason, Carey, none of that. It's, none of it is really a big deal. But let's just try not to obsess so much over people's business and keep it moving. Okay, moving on. The next thing I wanted to talk to you all about is something that I actually heard today. And I don't know how much truth there is to this rumor, but it's all over the blogs and not just your gossip blogs like actual news websites Jaden Smith who is Will Smith's son the rumor is that Jaden Smith has a birthday coming up uh, the day before my mama's in fact 15th birthday it is his 15th birthday that's coming up and he has asked that for his 15th birthday that he be emancipated from his parents and for those of you who don't know what emancipation is it's when a child legally becomes an adult and no longer has to legally become dependent on his or her parents so he is able to go out and live on his own and handle his own business and he doesn't he no longer legally needs parental supervision to do anything finances all that and a lot of these child stars do it um i believe lindsay lohan did it um the little girl off of family matters uh that became the porn star jesus what is that child's name jamie foxworth jamie foxworth um i believe became emancipated um i believe gary coleman did it i believe macaulay culkin did it is something that kids do so that they no longer have to be taken care of by their parents legally and they can go out and do stuff on their own. I personally, I just don't understand. Um, Because in the case of like your Lindsay Lohan's, your Macaulay Culkin's, your Gary Coleman's, your Jamie Foxworth's, um, their parents sucked. Like, fucking sucked ass. Like, their parents sucked all the money from them like Jamie Foxworth's mom took all of her money which forced her to feel like she had to go into porn to make ends meet 
Gary Coleman, Lindsay Lohan, like their parents were just taking all of the money. And I, there's another girl on TV, some TV show that I don't watch. She's going through the same thing now too, where she's trying to get emancipated because their parents are managing their careers and fucking them up basically. And the kids aren't seeing any of the money that they're making because their parents are taking it all and spending it on bullshit or keeping it from the kids and stuff. So they foul emancipation um, which takes away their parents' control of their finances. So, in that case, I can understand. If you got a parent that's taking all your money and you can prove to the courts that you can legally take care of yourself, you're legally making enough money and that you're responsible mentally, all that stuff, to take care of yourself, by all means, emancipate away. But for somebody like Jaden Smith, I just really don't understand because his parents seem to be like the most I don't give a fuck about what you do parents ever like you can do what you want to do dude like they let y'all do whatever they let they already allow you to make your own decisions and they've been letting y'all do that since y'all were kids they went on Oprah they said they don't believe in disciplining y'all they believe in letting y'all do what y'all do if y'all want to shave your heads and do all that other stuff as long as it's not a physical danger or could possibly kill you they let y'all do what y'all want to do anyway so what do you need to get emancipated for if you want to go out on a yacht with Justin Bieber for two weeks and turn up you've been allowed to do that the blogs have allegedly I'm not gonna say that because I don't know if y'all had parental supervision or whatever but it's y'all do all that already and you're not emancipated. So what do you need emancipation for? Because you want to get your own place? Didn't little Romeo have his own place? I could have sworn on MTV Cribs. Well, he had his own place, but it was like he had his own little separate mansion next to his dad's mansion. Why don't you do that until you turn 18? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, you got it good already, my dude. Why do you need to go out and do things on your own? Now, the speculation is that... Because he's dating the little young Kardashian girl. Is it Kendall or Kylie? I don't remember which one. Because I think Lil Twist is dating the other one. Justin Bieber's other best friend. I don't know. But he's allegedly... I don't know how true this is. Well, you know, you've seen the Instagram pictures. But they could be bullshitting. But I don't know. He's allegedly dating one of the little, the little baby Kardashian girls. And the speculation is... He just wants to be able to get his own place. So that he can go fuck a Kardashian and just be married but somebody needs to warn him that he does not need to be making any type of hasty decisions for his first love and I'm not going to throw shade on the Kardashians like the rest of the world have been having because the rest of the world has been saying that you know somebody better tell him about them Kardashians before he chooses to emancipate himself and get his own crib and get to spending stupid money on when them little Kardashian girls. I'm not even throwing shade on the Kardashians like that. Because Kendall and Kylie, for the most part, they seem to be pretty level-headed individuals. At least how that's how it's portrayed by the media. I remember being 15 and I just wanted to just be grown up and do things. And just jump out of the nest as soon as possible. I learned that me sticking around until you know I was old enough to kind of go out and do my own thing was the best decision so I just think that perhaps Will and Jada should kind of step in here reel that little boy in and bring him in close and really try to talk to him this time kids they want their freedom but he's 15 years old and I understand that he may be a little bit more mature than most he got grown-up money all that good stuff you know what I'm saying but he's still 15 in my opinion I don't know I could be wrong he could move out and get his own spot and he could be perfectly responsible and everything could go just as smooth Jaden and Willow as quirky as they are when it comes to like their clothes and hair and their personal style they are one of the few, two of the few celebrity kids that have really got it together. All they have is like this quirky style that adults don't understand. That's fine. But they, these are some good kids. And I would really hate for them to get, 
you know, thrown out into the world because Will and Jada has this kind of open policy about their behavior. I'm sure they raised them to have good sense, but I'm not a mother, but I'm a little nervous. I don't want them to turn out like your your MJs or your Gary Coleman's or your Lindsay's or your Macaulay's or your, your Jamie's or, or your Chris Kelly's, God forbid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. Like, I adore Jaden and Willow. I want them to grow into level-headed, awesome adults who continue to have prosperous careers, platinum records, successful clothing lines, Academy Awards, all that. Have freedom to make their own decisions as children, but to hold on to that childhood as long as possible. And then when they become adults, when they turn 18, then let them go into the world and say, hey, I've done all I can now. Like, Jaden still has three more years of this. Like, stay, stick around for three more years. Your parents still have a lot to teach you, sir. Just not yet, okay? But good luck to them. I'm sure that Will and Jaden know what they're doing. Far be it for me to try and interfere because they seem to have done a wonderful job so far. We watch these kids grow up as fans. And, you know, I'm a little nervous because I know how that shit goes. I don't want them to have the child star syndrome, that's all. But I'm praying best of luck to y'all, if it's true. But with that being said, this is your girl Essence, and you have been tuned in to yet another episode of Essence TV for Urban Gossip App. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at EssenceATL. Subscribe to your girl's channel. Support your girl. Download the app. Your respective iPhone and Android markets. Search Urban Gossip App free. Click on the TV icon up top. Click Essence TV and my YouTube videos stream directly from that app. So support your girl. If you have any tips, comments, anything, hit me up on my YouTube messages, my comments. My Twitter, DM me, Facebook message, any of that is readily available for anybody that has anything that they want to say to me. Until next time, y'all. Deuces.